Hello guys, welcome to Magnorp the Great. Today I am doing the Mini Minecraft demonstration. This is the code for the Mini Minecraft thing. This is a test for a lot of the elements that we're going to see in Kitchen Story as far as uh, gameplay. The map you've already seen, I really don't have a Kitchen Story map or a Cave Story map available. Um, so yeah, this is basically a little Mini Minecraft type deal just to see what exactly I can do with the Slick 2D Java Game Library. Um, which is what our, we're going to be using for Kitchen Story. As you can see, we have the little sprite here, Adam. And uh, so we have, he can walk this way, all the different directions, WASD. Um, he can only walk in one direction at once, currently. So, yeah, so he can move around. One nice thing is he cannot run into trees, or, for that matter, stone, until he mines it, or which he can't do right now. But yes, um, hopefully if I have some spare time and I feel bored, I'll just work on that and make sure you can mine and axe and do all that stuff. So yeah, um, that's how the quote sprite is basically going to be. I can adjust the speed for the character. Um, also, you will see down here a little inventory system. And right now it really does nothing. It's basically a little graphics display. I'd have to actually make sprites and little images to put in those squares. Um, one nice thing is it can select this one, uh, or not this one, but it can select any particular inter inventory slot. I can also move it while I'm walking. So yeah, just a little fun thing there. Um, I will say this, um, if I want to, for Kitchen Story, Quote is going to have to be able to jump, which means he's going to be having to move, having to move sideways and up at the same time in a parabola type shape. So currently, I can't do that with the code that I had for Adam, the Adam sprite. But if I remove some of these else's and just leave the if part of the statement, just watch. I can actually move in two directions at once. What would probably happen is all when you press spacebar, you'll have a movement like this, and then like that, except more smooth, and it'll feel more like there's gravity, because right now I have to press the W and D keys to go up like that, and then to go down like this, I have to press the S and D keys, so, yeah. Well, anyway, for all of you watch, uh, working on the Kitchen Story Project, that's basically what I can do right now, um, but yeah, I, w I am able to work with collision detection on the map, so quote won't fall through the floor when I put the map on. And so yeah, that's pretty much all we need right now. And this inventory system I can modify and actually put some data in here for like guns. I can move it up here. I can move it around and do all sorts of stuff. I don't have to have these map boundaries either. Um, you see these gray lines right there. He cannot walk through them. So yeah. Anyway so that's the game. that's the state of the game address, I guess. And so, yeah, for all of you who are working on the Kitchen Story project, please do give me any suggestions you might have not for Mini Minecraft, but for Kitchen Story. And also, you might notice this really cool background music. It is the uh, Cave Story Last Battle remix by B R E I S or Breeze. I don't know how that's pronounced, but anyway, yeah. So that's the video game. That's the uh, video and the video game. So, yeah, see you guys later.